Hello guys, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's class. Guys, this is the timetable for live classes of RBI, SEBI and NABAD. And this is our mobile application which you can download for knowing more about us and get the process of enrolling into the course and going through the course easy for you. So here we have the first question. There was the Kalam, no carnival, book fair organized. So guys, this book fair was organized in Ahmedabad and Prime Minister has inaugurated this virtually. So that is the entire news, no need to go into its depth. It's just a basic book fair that has happened and it was my responsibility to tell you that. Okay, so such kinds of book fairs and uh, uh, you can say events are organized by the government of India as well as the state governments. So don't worry about uh, such news you don't need to remember them as of now because you don't have any exam coming up okay so it is in Ahmedabad Navbhayat Sahitya Mandi now one more important initiative has taken place that is the Indra Gandhi Urban Employment Scheme which was launched by Rajasthan since we were discussing about the state schemes so state initiative so I am telling you this that Indra Gandhi uh, employment program has been launched and this is guys on the lines of the MG Narega. So Indra Gandhi employment program of the Rajasthan government is also ensuring 100 days of assured work, uh, work, okay, employment to the rural households, okay. The next question is with which Middle East country has India signed an MOU in the field of education in September 2022. So a very specific question has been asked from you. So it is UAE. Now I hope all of you are uh, aware of this fact that with UAE, India has already signed a free trade agreement. Okay. Now what is the target of India and UAE in terms of trade by 2025? This FTA has been signed in order to increase the trade between UAE and India to a certain level. And what is that level? This is the question for all of you. Do tell me in the comment section below. And remember that UAE is the first country from the Middle East with which India has signed the Comprehensive Economic Pact, okay, which is basically on FT. One more thing. Uh, related to uh, Middle East only, we are discussing it. So I want to highlight the West Quad, which includes India, US, UAE, and Israel. Since we have uh, two countries starting from I and two countries starting from U, therefore this West Quad is also known as I2, U2 initiative. Okay. So very recently its meeting was also held and nothing significant was there in the meeting but it is just an initiative that you all should be aware of okay and it is related to the trade and not defense whereas the Indo-Pacific Indo word is for the defense purposes okay. So that is all that I wanted to highlight here. Now one more thing you have UAE here in the news obviously you don't have to mug up this news as of now just develop a broad understanding the relationship between india and uae and how india is trying to penetrate into the middle east by collaborating with various countries we have collaboration with bahrain we have collaboration with saudi uh, uae israel and uh, various countries kuwait also we are uh, trying to improve our relationships okay so try to broaden your understanding in that regard and one more thing that i wanted to highlight Please try to remember the currencies and the capitals of the countries which are in the news because that is your static GK. Okay, so you are preparing static from there. And one more thing, geography is also important because nowadays questions related to geography have uh, been asked in the examination. Okay, so which countries actually border UAE is one question that can be asked from you. And UAE is a peninsula peninsular country. Okay, so it has a sea around it so that sea is red sea okay so that is also an important fact for you to remember moving ahead the next question is again very important question because it is about human development index and this index does is not released very frequently it is an annual index that is released so here we have the india's rank in the human development index uh, or report 2021 to 2022. So here India stands at 132nd position and it is guys 
I would say a downward uh, revision in the position of India in this index. So let's see what is there in this index for us to come. So here guys, first of all, 191 countries were assessed and out of these 191, 132nd is India's rank. And we are guys, the second most populous country and the most young country, okay? The work labor that we have is mostly between 15 to 29, okay? So we have this much of youth potential, we have this much of workforce, we have so much, uh, you can say, potential in our market. Still, we are at the 132nd rank in the Human Development Index. So what does it show? That we are not focusing as much as we should be or we ought to be in the education, healthcare and skill development sector. However, I would not say that the government is not trying to do that. We have various schemes that have been launched like Kaushal Vikas scheme for healthcare. We have Ayushman Bharat scheme for education. We had the new NEP and various more schemes are being launched, but still more effort need, uh, is needed in these sectors. Plus, sensitization programs are also needed in India in order to create awareness among parents so that they can send their children to the schools to create awareness about among the people about the healthcare facilities and also increase the healthcare facilities and their access to the poor households. So these are some of the uh, derivations that we can derive from this ranking of India because by next year, most probably India is going to surpass China as the world's most populous country and we have a gold treasure with us that is the youth population of ours if we try to skill them up if we try to provide opportunities job opportunities and skill development and education and healthcare then we uh, we cannot imagine where would we reach so these are the areas where we need to work okay you can also suggest certain measures through which we can increase the access of education increase the access of healthcare facilities to the poor households and the skill gap we can bridge so you can uh, suggest the measures in the comment section below and i will be eagerly waiting for your suggestion guys do provide it okay now let's discuss something more about this index so the top five countries switzerland okay this country's population is approximately i guess one tenth of india's population or even below that it's not one I guess I don't remember the exact population of Switzerland but look at the potential that this country has it has invested so much on the human development and human is also a resource okay then we have Norway then we have Iceland Hong Kong Australia these are the five countries <coughs> which are put into the human development index then we have the bottom five countries okay and where the neighboring countries stand. So Sri Lanka is the head of us. China is the ahead of us. Bhutan is the head of us. Bangladesh is the head of us. Only Nepal and Pakistan are behind us. So these are the countries which are ahead of us as far as the human capital development is concerned. So guys, one more thing that you need to focus on is the value the average value so as far as india's hdi score is concerned it is 0 0.633 and the world's average human development index values uh, is 0 0.732 okay so this is the value do remember these averages because these numbers are directly asked in your examination and you have your nabad phase 2 in esi this index is a very important index now coming to the indicators so life expectancy at birth, expected years of schooling, mean years of schooling and GNI per capita. So these are the parameters on which the development is assessed as far as the humans are concerned in a country. Okay, so these are broadly those measures which I discussed in the beginning only health, education and skill development. Because if you don't have the skills, you are not relevant for the market and market will throw you out. So this is an important lesson for all of you as well. Guys, do upskill yourself, reskill yourself because skill is important. And if you want to be market relevant, to remain market relevant, you need to upgrade yourself every day. We cannot use the same smartphone as we used to use two to three years back because technology upgrades. So why do we not? We also need to upgrade ourselves 
if we want to remain market relevant okay so the basic message here for all of you is to try to upgrade yourself try to boost your skills if you are a banking aspirant you are looking to go into rbi try to look for the related course which will help you when you go for the interview okay so in this manner you can boost your skills in the relevant sector in which you are seeking a job the next question is uh, which bank has launched its bank on wheels service in gujarat to increase accessibility so here hdfc bank is doing that okay related uh, recently hdfc bank was in the news for two of its campaigns one is move band rakho and another one is vigilant one more initiative was to open an all women branch now where has the hdfc bank opened its all women branch this is your question do tell me in the comment section below and whenever you see any bank in the news it is your responsibility i am not going to cover it again and again it is your responsibility to cover the chairperson and the tagline at least the tagline and the office head office of the bank as of now chairperson to you know that they change so when your examination is near you can remember them at that moment but head office and the tagline is not going not going to change any time soon so do remember them the next question is which country has received license from the insurance regulatory and development authority of india for selling life and general insurance products so here guys lords mark insurance broking private limited is the right answer who is the chairperson of irdai this is your question mention it okay now as far as this news is concerned it is a very simple news a new company has got the license from irdai to operate the uh, life and general insurance segment in the life and general insurance segment to sell these products okay so the important thing is that this company lords mark insurance broking company has launched policy king which is a digital platform okay to sell its products now this policy king will offer its customers facilities to compare all available insurance offers apart from the assistance and expert guidance to choose the right life insurance term life insurance health insurance and motor insurance etc etc okay so this platform is going to create the investor awareness so the next question is which company has entered into an agreement with sbi for availing unsecured financing for solar projects through surya shakti solar finance scheme so i had already informed you about the surya shakti cell of sbi which sbi had created for the sole purpose of giving the loans for solar power projects so here a company has applied for a loan now this company is vari now why this company is important and why exactly are we discussing this news the reason is that this vari company is india's largest solar solar panel manufacturer okay and it has signed an uh, agreement with sbi to uh, get the loan for the solar power project so that is the basic idea it is india's largest solar pa uh, panel manufacturer therefore this news was sure my question from all of you is tell me the total outlay of the pli scheme for the uh, white goods okay which bank has partnered with pay nearby to grow its priority sector lending so here axis bank is the right answer badhti ka naam zindagi is the tagline of this bank uh okay so axis bank has partnered with this pay nearby in order to enhance the psl lending okay so P pay nearby works with the corporates and it helps them to make headways into semi urban and rural market so basically through the network of pay nearby axis bank is going to lend more to the needy people and this lending would be under the priority sector lending category now we are discussing about the priority sector lending so there was a very interesting question a student of mine asked during my spotlight sessions 
the question was that what penalty did the banks attract when they do not fulfill their PSL target. So here guys, this is a very interesting question and all of uh, you should know about. So as far as the penalty is concerned, there is no quantitative penalty. It is not like RBI would penalize a bank with rupees 1 crore or anything like that for not fulfilling its PSL target. However, whenever the bank would go to the RBI for any kind of loan, for any kind of uh, facility, then RBI definitely is going to uh, point out the unfulfilled PSL target of the bank. So it is the qualitative punishment that the banks draw uh, when they have to go to the, when they do not fulfill the PSL target. Okay, so that is something interesting that I wanted to tell you. So this tie-up will give access to 50 lakh more micro retailers. The next question is, what is the range of the Agri Bazaar Kisan Safalta card? So here 10,000 to 50,000 is the correct answer. So Kisan Safalta card is a quick and hassle-free instrument through which the people, the farmers can avail loan. The next question is, who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of the popular superfood brand Pentola? So here Sunil Chetri, India's football captain, has been appointed as the brand ambassador of this superfood brand Pentola. So this handsome man is the brand ambassador. Okay, now guys, if we are talking about the brand ambassador, you often come across this news of appointing any celebrity uh, as the brand ambassador of any product. And you all know why do we select these celebrities? Because we know that these celebrities are going to touch the affective psychology of the viewers. And in this manner, our products will be sold super fast. So under which head or what, uh, under which category of the management activities would this activity fall? So I'm going to tell you that. So I hope you are aware about the marketing mix, the five P's of the marketing mix, product, price, promotion, place and people. So advertising is a part of promotion. You are promoting your product. Okay. Now, why did I uh, click this picture here or put this picture here? The reason is to uh, create an awareness among you that these five P's are actually working on the ground level. And if you start connecting what you have studied in your static part with the real life, then you will be able to better retain those uh, concepts and, and it will also help you in connecting and understanding the concepts as well. So here you can clearly see the role of advertising, which is a part of the promotion, okay? among the five P's of the marketing, which is a part of your management. The last question of the day is, who has won the 35th, uh, 31st Vyas Samman? So here, Asghar Bajahat is the right answer. So he is a Hindi writer. He has won the 35th, 31st edition of Vyas Samman. Now Vyas Samman is given by KK Birla Foundation. Now this award has been given for his play, Mahabali. So here three facts are important. Hindi writer Asghar Vajahat, 31st edition of Vyas Saman and Mahabali play and the KK Foundation. And this is just for your information that KK Foundation had established this award in 1991. Nothing to remember from this information. Now guys, KK Birla Foundation gives very prestigious awards and you should be aware of those awards. So first we have uh, read Vyas Saman. Then we have the Saraswati Samman, J.D. Birla Award for the Scientific Research. So these are two other prominent awards that the KK Birla Foundation gives. So here today's session end, ends and I hope you have liked the session. If you have any comments, anything to share with me, you can mention it in the comment section below. Do not forget to tell me your views on how can we increase the excess of education, healthcare and skills in India because this will open your horizon as well. Okay. So do try uh, to mention it in the comment section. below. Thank you so much. Have a good day.